What's going on everybody? Almost Evil 33 here, and today I have another Medal of Honor 2010 gameplay commentary for you guys. Today I'm playing some sector control on Dewoggle Camp, using my gun the MP7 with the usual attachments, nothing too special there. And I have a nice cruise missile gameplay that I picked up here on Dewoggle Camp for you guys, I know you're going to enjoy it. Lots of support actions, all that good stuff that you come to expect. So enjoy the background gameplay, but I have a big topic to talk about today as you can see, and it is Warfighter. And I know I haven't done a Warfighter preparation video in a while, so that's why I'm bringing you guys one now. And the reason I haven't done one in a while is because EA and Danger Close have been very secretive and concealed about their game that they're coming out with in the fall, and I'm kind of disappointed about that. But what are we going to do? It's not our choice, it's theirs as a developer, so we're just going to have to deal with it. But no one can lie and say that they're not in the dark about what Warfighter's multiplayer is going to be like, because we honestly have very little of an idea. Sure, they've showed some gameplay at Gamescom and PAX or whatever, but not enough to actually give us a taste of what the game's going to be like. But, at PAX East, or at least I think this was PAX East, a group of 20 guys played Medal of Honor Warfighter's multiplayer on high-end PCs, and they also had an Xbox 360 group that was playing, and they wrote down some notes and gave us a really good idea of what Warfighter is going to be like. So I'm assuming that the game now is probably in its beta build. And it's very accurate as to what the game's going to be like right now. I mean, sure, it's probably not the final product, but I think we can make some educated predictions based on what these people have written down for us. So I'm just going to let you know exactly what they said and then give you my thoughts on everything and my predictions based on what they've said and hopefully we can come up with an idea together of what to expect for Warfighter this fall. So, the first thing they said is what was playable. They talked about what they were able to play in terms of the game modes and what weapons were usable and things like that. So the game modes that they played were three different ones and they had two different maps. So they played Sector Control, which plays exactly like Sector Control in Medal of Honor 2010. There's three flags, and teams fight over capture for them, and then points are gained by having the most flags and also killing people. So it's really similar to what Sector Control was in this game, so nothing too crazy there. And they said they had some intense close quarters combat fights, which are sounding pretty good to me because close quarters combat's my thing. And it was set in Somalia, and they said the map looked beautiful, so that's really good. Then they also said they played Hotspot. Hotspot is a game mode that has players planting a bomb at a specific location on the map while the opposite team must defend, much like Battlefield 3's Rush or Call of Duty's Demolition. So I think this is similar to Combat Mission, it's the Combat Mission variant on this game, but I think it's more like Demolition from Call of Duty in terms of the closer quarters, but I think it also is bigger. So it's like a mixture of Battlefield 3's Rush and Call of Duty's Demolition, so I like the sound of it. But the thing is that there's only one objective, and there's five different objective locations, only one is highlighted at a time. Once it's destroyed or the attacking team fails to plant in time, another location is selected at random. To keep things balanced, the defending team is always notified of the new location a few seconds in advance. So you're kind of moving all over the map, but focusing on one area at once. So it does sound pretty cool to me. I like the sound of that. Now, Home Run. This is the most interesting to me. Home Run is what Danger Close calls Warfighter's Sport Mode. It is very competitive and keeps you on the edge of your seat at all times. Two teams of six are tasked with either capturing one of two flags or bringing it back to the home base or defending. The kicker here is that you only have one life, so there are 10 rounds with a halftime period where players switch sides. This mode has definitely had us cheering and smack talking the most. We played both Hotspot and Home Run on the Sarajevo Stadium and map set in Bosnia during Nightfall. So it seems like this Home Run mode is very strange. I've never heard of anything like it. I mean, honestly, we came to expect that it would be different because it was the sport mode that Danger Close was coming out with, but it seems so different from everything else. There's one life, so it's similar to Clean Sweep, but it's also kind of like a Capture the Flag, so it's like a mixture of Capture the Flag and Clean Sweep, which is very interesting to me. And the last thing that they mentioned was the fire teams and how much of an impact that it has on the game, and I've already talked about fire teams before, so I don't really have to mention it again, but I'm really excited that you'll be working with a squad mate. It sounds really fun. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. It really helps me out, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace.